The InPaint Pro workflow contains InPaint Pro SDXL, InPaint Pro Flux, SDXL body swap with InPaint function, and Flux body swap with InPaint function. Let's select the InPaint Pro workflow from the list. The InPaint Pro SDXL workflow allows us to change the inpainted area in high quality using masking. It utilizes the crop and stitch function, meaning the inpainted area is resized to larger dimensions and then returned to its original place, preserving all the details. For example, if we mask a 100 by 100 pixel area, that area will be expanded to 1500 by 1500 pixels, creating a high detailed version. Afterward, it will be resized back to the original 100 by 100 pixel area and stitched back into place. Let's demonstrate how to use it. First, insert an image into the load image node. Right click on the image and choose the open in mask editor option. Now, we will mask the hair and paint it black. In the prompt field, enter what you want to achieve, for example, black hair. Drag the new image into the load image node. Now, mask only the eyes to color them in a different color. Make sure the prompt includes the eye color as well, for example, blue eyes or green eyes. We've specified red lips in the prompt, and we will mask the area around the mouth. We will change the outfit. The prompt contains superhero, so the outfit will be transformed into a superhero costume. We will change the background. Let's mask the background as follows.
In the prompt, write the background you want to see. I've written New York City. Let's see how to correct the image generation if our original image is dark, but the generated image appears to bright. Simply set the denoise strength to a lower value, like 0.6, in the K sampler node. We'll replace this car with a green one. In the prompt, enter green supercar. Make sure the case ampler denoise strength is set to 1. If the dimwish strength is set to 0.6, the car won't turn green, but it will have more detail than before. This way, you can add finer details to the in-painted area. We can use LoRa models to add a different face to your source subject. Select the LoRa model in the blue node. The prompt should include details like hair color, gender, and image style, such as digital art. Mask the face area, including the ears. We can also add small shapes to our images. Create a small mask, then describe what you want to see. The prompt should include details about the background, image style, and the shape itself. Within Paint Pro Flux, we can add small text to our images. Mask the in-paint area, then write a prompt with the text in quotation marks. The body swap workflow preserves the details of the masked area while changing everything else that is not masked. It works best on close-up portraits only. A flux version of the body swap workflow, though also available. Thank you for watching and see you in the next update.